So in your life, you might be thinking, who is God? Some people have probably talked about who God is, and you might not know. So God is the creator. He's, he created everything. So you're going to be wondering, like, who made the earth? Who made the universe? Who made the asteroids? Who made everything? God did. And you're going to be like, no, no, he didn't. Like, it just happened because of a Big Bang Theory. Well, where did that come from? And then it keeps going on and on. Where did that come from? Until someone asks you, well, where did God come from? And then he just has to say, well, I have faith. And you probably don't have faith. But would you rather be the teacher or a teachy? Because whenever you, we die, we'll be resurrected and you might be te taught or the teachy. If you want to be the teacher and tell people about how God is real, well, then you'll be able to whenever you die and then resurrect it. But if you don't know much about God, you don't follow his ways, you don't want to, you'll be the teach E. Or, or God will give you a second chance and he'll help you and he'll let you learn. But God is real. We don't have proof that he is. Like Scientists say he's probably not real because we haven't seen him. We just have to have faith. Because people back like... 2,000 years ago, have seen God, the Son, not the Father, because no one's seen the Father, but everyone has seen the Son. Well, not everyone. In the olden days, people have seen God. People see God walk, roaming around, and then he died on the cross, and that's one of the most known stories. He died on the cross for our sins, and what's a sin? It's a thing that you do that God doesn't like. It's like... Punching someone in the face, and they don't like that. Um, it's also, like, your parents yell at you, and it's not nice. God does not like that. That's a sin. And at school, everyone might talk about God, and it's a really touchy topic because it's weird to talk about. People argue, and it's just a little bit awkward. But... You can now tell them by watching this that God is real. That we don't have proof that he is. Well, actually, we do because the Bible and people have seen him. But scientifically, people don't think we have proof. We do, but they say we don't. And that's why you have to have faith. You also have to have faith that the guy isn't like some hobo or whatever. But he's not. He's not a hobo. He's God the Son. And he died on the sin cross for our sins, so then we could be forgiven. So he's very generous, too. He'll help you pray to him every day, like, for help or anything. Just say, dear God, and then at the end say, amen. And then he might answer your prayer, and he might help you. Well, he's going to answer your prayer, but he's going to help you. He might help you. He might give you some, like, help with maybe people ask you questions more. And he'll help you and give you some training on it. So, God's very nice. And he'll be nice to you if you pray to him and just do everything. He's not going to be not nice to you, though. He, whenever we get resurrected, you're going to be on the second resurrection. People that know the ways will be in the first resurrection. And, yeah, so that's all there is. That's just a starter on what to do. Maybe pick yourself up a Bible. And I mean, it's not that expensive. No one's going to, like, price a Bible extremely high. I mean, learning about God shouldn't be expensive. Or just go online and look up God stories. Check the ones that are maybe, like, made by... Like, the Church of God. Greater Church of God. Look them up. They have like 100 subscribers. They're really good. They're the best. <laughs> no, there's some really good ones out there, but I like them. They're really good. They'll teach you the ways. It might be a little difficult at first because they're like, maybe like, hard to understand. They're like, big words, like, testimonies, or like, big words like that. But... People think there's translations. They're probably not the best, but the King's James Version, you can learn, and he will every week on Saturday is the day, is the Sabbath, and that's the day of learning. That's whenever you want to learn. It's the day you want to learn. It's the day that God wants you to do it. They've been doing that for maybe 4,000 years. There's a really long time that 
they've been doing that on Saturday. God told them to do it on Saturday, the Son and the Father. And yes. Oh, and another way that you don't want to do things like sin, there's another way of sin. Breaking the Ten Commandments. There's there's ten it's this plaque, okay? It's like a big rock that God literally engraved. And then he Moses tried to show it to his people. And then he said, Hey, check this out. Here's a big plate. You don't follow these, you're not doing the right thing. Showed it to them, and then they didn't do it. So, he then led them into a forest for so long, and then the people died. That went in there, and then their descendants went on to the land they were supposed to go to instead of the forest. Now, sin is just awful. You do not want to do it. It's not good. But since God will not forgive you, it's better because... You can, like, forgive yourself. It can be forgiven. It was forgivable that back then. You also had to do sacrifice back then. We don't have to do that anymore. Uh, so don't sacrifice. Um, try not to sin. I mean, everyone does. In your life, you're probably going to sin. And, uh, yeah. So just look up online, maybe, like, Bible stories for maybe kids. Easy Bible lessons that have, like, pretty good words. You can understand them. Don't look up at the Christmas ones. Alright, let me get you a story on Christmas. The reason I don't personally celebrate it is because God never said to. In the Bible, he never said to do it, but he never said not to. And that's the thing that people do. They, it never said, do not celebrate Christmas. But it does say, do not cut down a tree, bring it to your house, put it up, and decorate it with silver and gold. God does not want you to do that. That's a sin. God does not like Christmas. Because it was pagan. And God says, do not do what the pagans do. And they did Christmas. Well, they didn't do it like Christmas. They do it for, like, the sun god. But then they went up to some Christians and say, hey, we should get together. We want to be, like, we want to be friends, okay? So they did that. But they combined the two together. So it's like using the same tr practices for bad. So, that's Christmas. And, that's all I'm going to talk about. So, just try your hardest. Maybe pick up a Bible. Try hardest. Learn about God. So, thank you for watching, and have a good time.